have that perspective there when you walk into the Oh, no, the not, at all. Okay. not at all. They looked at me like, who is this guy? I'm like, hey, you got to see me. You got to play my game. I'm all you look at that? Looked at them like, hey, you're just a regular guy. Right. It's football. Right. So I'm going to give you 10 interceptions this year, right? Because you got two in each of the All-Star games at six. So. Hey, if you give me time, we'll get <laughs> Okay. Um, why do you feel that those ball skills will transfer over the NFL? Why do you think you'll be able to do the same thing, intercept the ball? It comes natural to me. It's easy. I got smooth hips. I know how to relate my game into reality. And uh, I just love playing football. I'm a hard worker. And I feel you know, pick off any quarterback I believe. Like you mentioned your defensive coaches. How much did Chris Valeria mean to you? He meant a lot. He was a, he was an awesome dude. I miss him. I miss him like crazy. I'm gonna stop buying pop in and say hello to him. That's really my best friend. Played in the league for nine years. You know what he's talking about. He knew if a guard was pulling just by his stance and off rip. So like, he taught me a lot about the game. He's a calm dude. Loves the game. Because he helped you in this process because he was a guy that came out of a small school too, obviously. Right? Yes, he helped me. He just said, walk around like you took on the show, like you believe you belong there. Because he came from a small school small school too. So he just said, act like, act like you're like the be yourself. Where have you been uh, training on? Uh, Tom Shaw, we're about ESPN. Okay. Great There's group. a bunch of guys down there. Yeah, but a lot of D linemen and O linemen, but we got a lot of skill work. Ike Taylor was my uh, DB coach. So we, and Tony Carter, great guy also. Taught me a lot of, a lot of techniques. 12 personnel, 21 personnel, a lot, of, a lot of secrets to the game. Really, like in guys' face kind of thing. I mean, like in terms of covers. Oh, yes, yes, we got a lot of board work and film work. How familiar are you with Chris's pro career? I mean, does he talk much about it? Do you he ask him questions? He tells me stories that I really can't talk about. Okay. But he sometimes tells me about, like, his injuries and, like, stuff that he went through in the NFL. Awesome, Thanks a lot. And what do you think are some of the strengths? I mean, being able to be from a small school, you are a little bit under the radar. In the bowl games, you show that you're completely explosive and able to surprise people. What do you think it is that makes you as explosive of a player as you are to be able to make the plays that you do? I would say definitely my hard work and dedication to the game because, like, I'm a small school guy. I have to put in actual work to get to where I need to be during the, during the, during the, during the game. So just go out there and keep grinding and be myself. Now, do you do a lot of uh, film review? How, how many hours a day do you think? Probably like, so during school, we'll watch film in the morning at 7 o'clock, go to class, do what you have to do, work out, and I'll come back, eat my lunch there, and work, watch film again, and after practice, watch film again. So, like, I'll stay 12 hours out of the day and what coaches watch your film. And what type of leader are you? Do you lead by example? Or? All types. I lead by example. Make sure my guys know what what's going to happen during the week. I tell them like Mondays we'll have call sheets that the coaches will have for us, and we'll walk through it on the field. We'll spend extra hours just inside the weight room doing what we have to do to get to win the game for Saturday. And if there was uh, one or two games that you would recommend an NFL scout to pop in to be able to evaluate the Lorenzo Jerome, what games would you recommend for them to pop in? Montana or Robert Morris. And why? I gave him all those two games. I, was, I felt like I was healthy those two games at my max ability, and it showed. And how do you feel now? I feel great. Do you feel like you're healthiest? Uh, I'm super proud. Yes, ma'am.